Hello, welcome back everybody. My name is Tim, and I just wanted to show you guys how the NPCs in the game work. I've seen a lot of kind of controversy online. Um, so, first of all, before you go raid any bandit camps and get your NPCs, you need to first build the command center. Uh, pull out your hammer, you go to the outdoor, and under here is your command center. Control center, my bad. So you have to place that down first, and that's what this building here is. And this is where you're going to do your, kind of your ops and everything. So after you place this down, no, it's not time to go get an NPC yet. I mean, you could, but I definitely would not. The second thing that I would build would be um, something for their pleasure. So any of these items down here, and it tells you at the bottom, um, canteen uh, increases the productivity of the NPC so either the canteen the medical room or the rec room place one of those down immediately after your control center and then as far as I can tell the house is not needed it just says houses provide NPCs to live in um, I only have one so I don't I really don't think the house is needed but then uh, so what what do you need do you need wood and sticks and fibers probably not quarry most definitely or the livestock farm or even the botanical garden those are what they will bring you and these have to be placed within the radius of the control center which which is a pretty big radius so I have the livestock farm and the quarry also for them to bring me those goods there's the quarry back there I do have the house built and the medical room which I just built last night the leisure club and the canteen is what I have now these guys don't interact with any of this stuff they don't actually go out and chop down trees or um, mine stone or anything like that you don't all they do is walk around and literally get in your way and whatnot and another thing is after see he wasn't walking out there now they do have guns so I guess if there's zombies close by they have um, unlimited ammo once you give them a weapon as far as I can tell Somebody said that they have infinite health too, which I'm not sure because I don't have horde attacks on, so I don't have any hordes raiding me. But um, I'll show you how to equip weapons with them here in a second. Now this is the livestock farm underneath the outdoor tab. Whoops. So right here, livestock farm. Now I did not buy any of these animals, any pigs or chickens or anything like that. Of course I don't see any chickens, but... Um, they just kind of appeared first one and then after a couple days the second one appeared so if you come in here this is the only thing you can interact with on any of that stuff you have to connect it to power and there it tells you your daily consumption is six so I have no idea what that means if it's 600 watts or what uh, water you have to have a well and a tank set up so you can connect water dwellers that's how many NPCs I have beds which I only have the one house um, productivity is, I think it was 10, and then I built the medical, and then I think it went up to, so 12 is where I'm at. So right here, preferences, average. So this will bounce back and forth between what you have built. So I only have the livestock farm and the quarry. So under average, they'll, they'll kind of split their tasks among them. And you only need one of each. Um, they'll both work off of one, basically. And right here is where you would equip their weapons. So I got two, basically two 12 gauges equipped in each of them. So that's the main interface. Then under warehouse, this is where they're going to bring you your items. So I think every day at midnight, new stuff will load in here. And they've brought me chicken. They've brought me, you know, pork. Um, I think that's it from the livestock pen. And this is all from the quarry. And then some plant fibers left over from God knows what. So then the rest, of course, you would just connect it to your power source, your water source, and then the availability that it shows you is, uh, I guess, how do you see that? But you could you could tell it's pretty far out. And then I was able to see before, and it goes about up to where that cursor is, so halfway up the mountain there, 
all the way around. So it's pretty big. You can have this stuff spaced out a bit farther than I do. But I think that pretty much covers it. So the unlimited ammo, the health I'm not sure about. So you guys have to let me know if your NPCs fight or whatnot. And then, of course, with the bandit camps, um, you would you go to a couple of different ways to find it. I use nosintel.com, and that has kind of everything on the map. Here I have just the uh, bandit camp selected. So if you were to click on these, it would say what it is, how big it is. So that's a small one, no NPCs there. Here's a large one, and it has an NPC there. NPC. And then the last video where I went and rescued that second survivor, it was down here at this bandit camp. See how it says NPC at the bottom there? That means that there'll be an NPC held hostage there that you can rescue after blasting your way through. So there's quite a few. Quite a few don't have NPCs. Yeah, there's three that don't. That one don't. At least I'm pretty sure they don't. But this is definitely a handy little website if you guys don't know about this, nosintel.com. But it has literally everything on here. Points of interest, the wolves, the bears, uh, vehicles that could spawn. Those are just the spawn locations. Doesn't mean there is a vehicle there. Of course, it also gives you the crawler spots and the BFCs. And I like it because it's all interactive. And you can even click on those and it'll give you uh, an about. So, Blood Corpse, Exploding Firefighter, Police, doesn't mean all those are going to be there. It just means that's what's in the spawn pool that could be there, as far as I can tell. But, that is pretty much it on the NPCs. If there's anything else that I am forgetting, please feel free to tell me. And maybe I can include it. But, have fun guys, and enjoy. Mr. Tim, out.